Well, Pierre, you certainly were a big help. Merci, mademoiselle. You never spent so much money so fast. It was a pleasure, mademoiselle. There, is that enough? Oh, thank you, thank you. Merci, mademoiselle. We'll be seeing you. Au revoir, au revoir. Bonne chance. Madame, how do you do? I am the manager. May I help you? Certainly may. Show me a place to take my shoes off. My feet are killing me. Do as you please. A lady never admits her feet hurt. Bonjour. Bonjour, mademoiselle. You have your reservations? Yes, we do. It's in the name of Mr. Augustus Esmond. This is Miss Shaw. Hi, Miss Lee. Hi. Oh, yes. We have been expecting you. This way, please. Well. Miss Lee. Miss Shaw. Well, I thought surely in all Paris we could lose you. Madame, are these the persons you were talking about? Yes, these are the persons. Why, Lady Piggy. I mean, Peekman. What a pleasant surprise. Mm, I dare say. You may proceed, Pritchard. This person is Miss Lee. Uh, Miss Lee, I represent the Suffolk and Greater London Insurance Company. Well, thank you ever so. I never buy insurance. Sell it to Mr. Malone. He needs it in the business he's in. What is all this? Young woman, if you return the tiara, I'm willing to forget this squalid incident. Uh, allow me to clarify, my lady. A lady Beekman's tiara, which is insured with my company, has been reported as stolen. stolen. What's that got to do with us? Uh, we've been informed. It's in your possession. Is that true? Absolutely not. Honey, why don't you let Lorelei talk for herself? She'll do better than that. She'll sue you for slander, honey. Tell them. Well, go on. Well... We're waiting. None of your business. Well, I'm afraid it's very much our business. Honey, just tell them you haven't got it. Tell... Oh, Lorelai, you didn't. I did not steal Lady Beekman's tear. Then perhaps you'll explain how it happens to be in your possession. Suppose we say that's my affair. Well, that's one explanation. Lord Beekman knows it wasn't stolen. Ask him. We've already done so, Miss Lee. And? He denied knowing anything about it and departed for the interior of Africa. <laughs> Piggy wouldn't do that. Miss Lee. Are you or are you not going to give back the tiara? I wouldn't dream of doing the same. It's mine and I'm going to keep it. That remains to be seen. Come, Pritchard. You'll find that I mean business. Really? Then why are you wearing that hat? Honey, I want to talk to you. I've made up my mind. Look, Lorelei, the simplest way to get out of this whole thing is just to give it back. I do not care to converse with you, Mr. Malone. We will not be into this man as long as we're staying in this hotel. I regret, madame, you will not stay here at all. Uh-oh, what now? But Mr. The jig's Esmond's up, Lorelei. Esmond's canceled your reservation and your letter of credit. I don't After believe... hearing from you. That's right. I don't believe it. Well, Mr. Esmond wouldn't do that. Did he? Exactly. Mr. Esmond refuses responsibility for your bills. Well, that's very inconvenient. Because we've just spent all of our money. I'm sorry, madame. That's not our concern. Come on, honey. Let's get out of here. Anyway, I hear your plumbing is noisy. Dorothy, if you need any help, I'm at the Elysee Hotel. You hold your breath till I call. 